Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Got to Change. You're about to see the craziest traffic stop. I'm like, when I watched this video, I did not think it was going to get this wild. It just keeps escalating. Let's go. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. On the evening of March 8th, 2023, an officer was on patrol when he observed a vehicle with a defective brake light in Jackson, Wisconsin. Upon reaching the vehicle and initiating a traffic stop, it pulled into a Walgreens store and parked in a handicap spot. Despite the officer's activated emergency lights, the driver, later identified as a 34-year-old male named Harrison, ignored commands and walked into the store. Let's keep begging your car, man. Hey, keep begging your car. Right now. I'm on traffic stop. My car was stopped and parked. Car off. I'm going to stop, work. bro. Ain't no stop. Come back here. I'm a grown man. Come you back know, here. Like that. Ain't no come back. Come back. You're getting so, right? As you can see, it already saw saw pretty wild. This man was supposed to stop. Gets out of the guys. If you've ever had a cop pull you over, have you ever just got out of the car and just went on about your life? Are you crazy? <laughs> he really thinks that you can just get pulled over and then hop out of the car and go do whatever you want to do. This oh, you're resisting work. right now. I'm not resisting nothing. Answers is hanging on traffic stop on Walgreens. So just walking away. My phone got to now. It's your lucky day, okay? I got to go to a different call. You can't drive. You have a suspended driver's license. Okay. You got to stay here and call someone else, okay? Dog, y'all know she is not going to do that. She's not a part of this video, but... You know darn well that if somebody tells you you cannot leave, you have to have somebody come pick you up. You, you, you're going to try to make it home. Be like, well. It's in the middle of the night. No street come lights. Back. Come back. Come out of Red Bull to go to work. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Don't touch me, man. Let's go. I'm grown. Ain't no let's go, bro. You better call your, your um, let's go. lieutenant or something. Ain't no let's, let's go. go. What's wrong with so you? So he's on 100 immediately, y'all. So y'all may think, oh, it, it can't get any crazier than this. It, it, this is this is already going to go bad. Uh, nope. So he goes to do the whole, uh, uh, what do you call it? I, say, I would say it's a millennial thing more than Gen Z. Hello, how are you doing today? Uh, sorry, I'm talking to the chat. Uh, so... He goes to do the millennial thing and he pulls out his phone. Right? No, you don't. You crazy. Where's my backup? You crazy. Where's your backup? You better not touch me. I know you better not touch me. Ma'am, please don't leave. You better not touch me for a traffic stop. You Let's better go. not put your hands on Let's me go. or I'm suing your ass. Let's go. So she's going to go. He's going to go the whole route if please don't let these people take my life. It's like, dude, if you would just listen. So obviously it escalates from here and another cop comes in and here we go. Distance. So they end up taking, you know, getting the man, arresting him, and, it, you know, all should be well now, right? Of course he's going to yell, he's going to do all the Texas stuff, and it's going to be a little bit extra. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm just laughing thinking about it, man. When he gets into this car, I just want y'all to see this part. It is... I just, I couldn't help myself and be like, are you serious? What's going on right now? You were fighting with officers when I showed up, so. Uh, hold on, sorry. I, this, this whole, the whole reason I make these videos, by the way, is because to show police interactions and so human interaction. This person is the most, one of the most extra people I've seen. There are just some people in this world who want to cause a scene. I talked about in the last cop video that there's some people who just want, want to feel something. In this case, I think he just wanted to be known. I think he was really just pushing to be like, I want my voice to be heard. He, uh, had no Even though nobody knows who he is. Hey, the problem it's is that whole main character syndrome. Well, you don't you just gotta... Okay, I'm just kidding. Plates in your car there, man. Well, you all see the bumper off, right? Yeah, that's yeah, 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 but you can't drive without yeah, one. Alright, okay. Say whatever you want to say. I know I ain't supposed to be getting arrested for this. So no injuries right now, but you might have some later? Know. I don't know, bro. Okay. Well, you let me I know. I stopped because he had a brake light out. Yeah. And he pulled in here. I said, get back in your car. He said, that, I'm not doing that. So I followed him in there. Oh, okay. And then he, he just kept pulling here. away. Yeah. Like, okay. That's great. I heard you, like, call it out. And then we're always walking yeah. away. I'm like, oh. Sorry, I couldn't tell where if you were in the store or where you were at first. So that's why. They got the whole squad in here backed up. Let's get back to the man. Can't find 
stop me. Okay. okay. Transmission just got fixed. Okay. Bumper just fell off. Wait a minute. I, so y'all see them, man, bro? He had no reason to tackle me in no damn Walgreens. Bro. Okay. And then I followed him in there, and basically he was being loud and boisterous, as you probably heard. But I just waited for backup before going hands on. What no stop, bro? Well, I'm telling you from right now, that's my no opinion. Stop, bro. Okay, that's your opinion, man. Okay. Well, I thought he was getting ready so to swing at you. Time he'll keep screaming, and that's the reason they keep going back to the cop car. He keeps screaming. He'll be like, hey, I need to talk. And as soon as they get back over there to go talk to him, he immediately goes right back into, I don't want to talk to nobody. Leave me alone. And so that's why you see the cop getting kind of frustrated at the while. He's like, what is the, what do you want? I'm just I asking you. what y'all do, bro. Okay, so it's all right if I search it. make sure. permission to do anything, but what? I don't care what you do. What'd no, y'all don't have my permission to do anything. Okay. No. It was started off as kind of, but no. 913 County, is there a K-9 on duty and available? Do I know this guy right here, by the way, was kind of weird when they were arresting him and some chips fell on the ground. This guy came by and picked up the chips to make it look better. And then when the cop walks back in, y'all heard him say, do you want like a candy bar or something? <laughs> this is the craziest. Cra like everything going on in this video is so chaotic you got like four or five cops out there for this one man which is fine because he was being aggressive but then you got this kind of socially awkward guy who was just like saw all of this go down and immediately when he walks back in is do you want a candy bar or something like what <laughs> available oh my goodness do i no i'm good Okay, you don't need an ambulance. You just want to get on with your night. If you're going to go to jail and get booked at jail, you want to go to jail and get booked. So this is, that is the part where they talk about the ambulance. This is the part that had me cracking up. You're saying, sir? You know what I'm saying. Okay. Well, I'm going to take that as you don't need an ambulance. So. Sir, I just heard you say you're hurt. Do you need... I'm hurt. Do you need an ambulance? I'm hurt. Do you need an ambulance? My leg's hurt, yes. need an ambulance. My leg hurt. 913, Kelly. How's that? So, you're going to hear him say... He says, my leg hurts. My leg hurts. If you'll notice later on in this video, he's going to start complaining about other body parts. And that's what leads to even more wackiness. It's just the goofiest traffic stuff I've ever seen. Now, I understand it's more serious because the cops are afraid that this man's going to attack them. So I do take that part seriously. But it's, this is the aftermath. This is us looking back in hindsight. Obviously, in the moment, you don't know what this man's going to do. But as you notice what ends up happening, you know, it's funnier to look back on. So let's move forward a little bit here. So he ends up saying that his shoulder is killing him. And so that's what leads them to take him to the uh, hospital. Okay, we're going to put the seatbelt back on. You just don't lean forward. So that's why your chest was probably getting tight with a seatbelt, not because you actually couldn't breathe. Do you still need EMS to come here and check you out? No, I'm cool now. I can breathe. My seatbelt ain't, ain't choking, choking. 903 County, you can cancel it now. What's up, sir? Hey, yeah, call him back. Call EMS. Call em he just, they just said, do you want EMS to come out here? And now he says, no, I don't need EMS. And then as soon as he canceled, I mean, as soon as he canceled it, he's like, no, I need EMS. You just said you didn't need them. You said I need you them now. I need them. Call them. For what? Call them. Hey, hey for what? I need the ambulance. For what? What do you I need? need? To see. I need to see the ambulance. For what? Because I need to see them. For what? I, I need to see them. For what? We need to tell them what you want them for. That's part of the... Come back and give me. Okay, you're going to go... Hey, hey, Mr. Harris, Mr. Harris. Well, you want them to come back and get you isn't a medical complaint. What is your medical my complaint? My shoulders. My shoulders feel, it feel excruciating pain. Didn't okay. you just have them sign off? Didn't you just sign off on them? Yeah, you Did just signed... like that then until I got in here? Yeah, well, hey, Harris, Harris. That's how y'all got Harris, me, bro. Harris, Harris, Harris. Everybody try to talk to this man like he's the kid, though. Y'all, y'all hear him. Harris, hey. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey, look over me. Look at me. Hey, hey how you doing? Hey, uh, Officer Briggs. Officer Briggs here. Um, if you just listen to me, I can tell you that we can take you to the hospital. But you have to let us know why. If you don't let us know why, we can't help you. Harrison, buddy. I need to see EMS, Harrison. bro. Still going to jail either That's way. That's fine. Okay. Let's go. Then let's go to the hospital. I'm going to just take him right there. Yeah, I'm going. Upon arrival at the hospital, Harrison continued to be uncooperative and resistive. All right, Harrison. Okay. So they get him out of the car, and this is where it just gets even goofier. Yeah, I, I did not expect this when I was watching this video. I was just kind of watching like, eh, maybe, you know, I, I'm noticing this man's being aggressive. I want to talk about the aggressiveness and how you shouldn't do this with the cops. But to 
Remember when I talked about when I said that when I said that we when you think somebody's going to calm down in, in just a few minutes, right? When somebody gets upset or they get to this hyperactive state, it can last hours. I, this is the greatest example I can see of somebody who let it lets it go for hours. Not saying he did it for hours. I don't know how long the actual video was and how long this is actually going on. But just see that he rarely ever comes back down. Like he'll come back down for a second and be like, I'm cool and immediately go back up. People seem to think that when somebody gets angry that you just need to wait for them to cool off. Yes, you can do that, but it may be a while. And the hard part is, if you're on top of them like the cops have to be, if you're on top of somebody while they're trying to cool down or trying to come back to a normal state, it, it takes even longer because you're there and you're maybe and they're getting more agitated or they're they're causing more of a scene just because you're there. This is what I also talked about, like when I had to do this with certain people that sometimes they ask you to leave the room. Like if you're one of the people, let's say there's five people in there. Sometimes somebody is getting agitated just because it's you. They picked you. Today is your lucky day. And they decide to be aggressive because you're in the room. And until you leave, they don't calm down. That's the same thing going on here, except for the cops can't go anywhere. It would be much easier if somebody could come in and let the somebody else handle it or let him cool down. But they can't because they have a job to do. Subscribe cool with me. Have yeah, you've been cool with me, man. Okay. So come on, let's go. Yep, you've been cool awesome. I'm playing with my television. Whoa, 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 not that oh, fast. Hey, we're in a go. Slow goal. down. Okay, you came out of there real fast. I don't know what you're doing. Okay. Don't mean Are you me. serious, bro? Are you thinking? I'm, I'm giving you a serious. Are you serious, bro? Okay. Right now? I kind of have to agree with it. I don't feel like he got out too fast. Okay. So come on, Guys, let's go. Yep, he's getting cool crazier. Awesome. I'm playing with my television. This is what got him riled up again. Oh, 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 not that fast. Oh, hey, we're in I think the reason he got up so fast is because his shoulders are really hurting. I've been in handcuffs before, and when you're sitting in a cop car with your hands behind your back, Getting up gets that gets at least gets a little bit of that shoulder pain to go at least a little bit away. But when you're sitting down with handcuffs on and your shoulders hurting, and I do think that his shoulder really was hurting, he may be exaggerating a little bit. But when you wear handcuffs and you're not that flexible, it really kills your shoulders. Slow down. Okay, you came out of there real fast. I don't know what you're doing. Okay, All don't right, mean so no. They get to this part, and eventually they get right back to the ground. <laughs> Because he decides to get aggressive. So here we go. Whoa, whoa. You doing that still? Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I don't think we've got one. Bro, bro. I don't know. Stop grabbing my shoulder like that. Because he. Bro, let my. That right there. Whoa, whoa. You doing that still? Whoa, whoa. I don't think we've got him on the ground and Sally. I don't. So once again, you may think that this is the end of it all. This is the end of the, the craziness. He's yelling on the ground. They're going to pick him up. They're going to easily get him into the hospital no, bed. Man, it just How can we get your help when you're going to act like that? Man. We went from him being pulled over to here we are at the hospital and him screaming and yelling on the ground. We're trying to get you in there. They're trying to kill me. You got him stick. You see what I'm saying? Code three, leave me another one. Not moving. Oh, I gotta say it. It feels like he just wants to be known. Like he wants people to really make, make himself into a victim. I told you, no, no one's on your shoulder. No one's on your shoulder, man. Bro, y'all know what y'all doing. No one's on your shoulder. You know what you're doing, bro. Sir, I have my hand. No, you know what you did, bro. So they're gonna try to come and help him back up, right? And I want you to see his reaction when they try to help him up. One, two, no, three. No, bro, stop, 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 here he just like ah, 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 ah. it's just like man I can understand having shoulder pain but they're trying to help you we're not pulling your shoulder even we're he trying. can't help him he's just like dude you're being so dramatic right now so eventually they, they eventually do get him up get up bro one two three bro, push yourself up you ask to go to the hospital, you have to sit go on to the, the bed. bed. Sit down. There you go. Stop pushing against me, okay? 
it makes it a lot. And they get him in the hospital, and then he gets charged. Okay, we'll see what the charges were. Then performed, which did not display any broken bones. We got an x-ray, no broken bones. Harrison was charged with misdemeanor counts of resisting, obstructing an officer, times two, and disorderly conduct. He also received three citations for non-registration of a vehicle, possession of THC, second offense, and parking in a handicapped parking space. Lastly, his cash bond was set at $250. I, when I saw that last part, I'm like, oh, $250, he could get out that day. Even after all of this, it was only $250 for him to get out, which means he probably got a $2,500 buy uh, fine and he could bail out for $250. I could be wrong about that. Um, but nonetheless, that was one of the crazy. Now, the video we saw with the girl who was the, uh, y'all remember she was a stripper? That video was wild too, but that was wild in a sad way. That was a sad video. This video was hard not to laugh when I was watching it. It's not that I was laughing at the the whole thing going crazy. It's just that he was being so overly dramatic. And if you've ever dealt with somebody like that, or you've ever had to um, restrain somebody like this who's just being extra, anytime you touch them, they're like, you're hurting me. It, it hurts. It's, I'm in pain. My knee, my shoulder, my nose. I mean, I remember I have had people I've had to restrain. And the craziest thing is I've ever, ever, ever the one of the craziest things I've heard is my nose. Like they were tripping on me because their nose was, you know, they had the sniffles. And because their nose was just barely dripping, they blew up. They were just like, my nose, my nose, I need a tissue. Ah! And it's just like, that's what I'm thinking about when I think about this individual. It's like, they're trying to help you up. They got you to the hospital. You're complaining about your shoulder. They're trying to get you in. And the whole time they touch you, every time they touch you, you immediately go to, ah, my shoulder. Ah! It's just like you're going so far, and it's just wild to me how far this escalated. This could have been a simple traffic stop. All he was going to do. Now, the vehicle was not registered, so they were going to give him. But you're not. he wasn't going to go to jail for that. They would have simply pulled him over, said, your brake light is out. Do you have registration? And he would have said no. And they'd have been like, okay. Or they would have said, oh, your registration expired. You need to go get that renewed. They gave him a ticket. He'd have been on his merry way. Not only then, he parked in a handicapped spot, which he wasn't legal to do, which the cop probably wasn't even going to question because the cop didn't question the handicap thing until after all this went down, um, after he had already been in the car. He would have simply just got pulled over for the brake light. They would ask for registration. It would have been expired. He would have got a simple little ticket. Probably registration tickets aren't like crazy expensive. It's like $200, $300, depending on where you live. And so bam and then you're on about your day you're on about your life and then normally even if you have that kind of ticket you can put it on a payment plan but um here's where we are and he decided to escalate all this just to go to jail for one night and i bet he bailed out on that 250 probably that that night or he went to go see a judge put it on payment plan they released him so this is just the craziest traffic stop i've seen in these videos it's very simple and it turned into everything. Anyway, let me know what y'all think. I'm out of here. Peace.